I designed this Alaska mill myself. Don't mind to go with a Husky 372XP, 28-inch bar on it. Mighty Husky 372XP. My cousin Matt, he did the welding on it. Uh, we built it four years ago. He's done a number of projects with it. The rails were my own uh, idea. We're up in Swan Hills, Alberta today. Uh, rails for the mill are 10 foot and the log is of course 10 foot 6 so we got to cut I'm going to cut a little bit off it. then we'll get the rails on and we'll get the mill set up Good enough. Oh, I should get my wedges or you got wedges? I have wedges. Probably don't need mine though. So there we go. So we're level here. Level at both ends. And then all I gotta do as I run this screw in, it bites the side of the rail, the rail can't lift. There you go. Okay. There you go. A field bend. Perfect. Well, we just got one slab off. 
beautiful board, but the saw is not cutting quite. It's all getting out of one, eh? My, so my buddy had had a commercial he made mill sitting in a box brand new he's never pulled it out the mill i made it doesn't allow a thin enough uh, slab to be these are the boards we milled already they're inch I'm and a half sure thick so we started out using my mill and i mean it worked great but it's got one drawback and it doesn't cut a thin enough uh, slab so we switched over to this uh works good though we did about four logs, I guess. We got started kind of later in the day, and so tomorrow should be able to do up a bunch more over and out. We did some good work today. We made one hell of a pile of sawdust. My buddy's down there. He's just following the tree for us. Some of these trees are 110 feet. That's the tree that my buddy just knocked down. 80 foot uh, lodge pole, dead, dry. All the, all the boards from it are going to be ready to nail next week. I'm going to have to dry this lumber. But, so what we're going to uh, do this morning is just get the top slab knocked off on all four of these. So we're not swapping around the mill constantly. Well, we're cutting to beat the band here. We got the, the tops off, knocked off that pair of logs already. we got the third log set up, ready to go. Production line this morning. Now we got four tops, all good. So we're gonna uh, swap the mill around to do the inch board. That's pretty. I do have to say, after using this for a day, I like this power fist mill. It's pretty simple to use yeah and it's quick it's really quick to set up once you once you've played with it a couple of days a day so there it is just drop her down and there that, that sets your board thickness right fire up is square and it comes right into that V when you tighten it up it squares itself right up every time without breaking around want to use the ratchet done done Dun 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 dun. Beer break. Necessary part of this operation. So before there I said it was March 5th or 6th or whatever. It's actually March 7th and last night the mighty Oilers smoked the Calgary Flames. A little bit of sawdust on us. Look at the slabs that we've been cutting here. Beautiful cut. That's what we've got done so far. Well, we're fueling the saw back up, and the one thing I gotta point out is that how fine the saw. The rakers on my saw need to get nipped back, and we're almost done, Jim. That is uh, all that ain't wood. That's today's production. That's. Oh, that, those boards are from a single 80 foot lodge pole pine, which we uh, took we took uh, four nine and a half foot log lengths out of it. The top of it we made into firewood. Cutting the final of those nine and a half foot logs. Just a couple more slabs to get out of it. Finished our milling and we got four nine and a half foot logs built today. That's it. Yesterday we got three logs done, so seven logs. Not bad. Uh, now she's time to just clean up and have a couple of floppy pops. That's it.